If creepy insects are your worst nightmare, then be forewarned, this video is swarming with them. Getting stung is no laughing matter, in fact some things are bad enough to cause permanent damage or even kill a person. Today Upside will share 10 of the most painful insect stings in the world and what to do to save yourself if you get stung. Welcome to Upside, where we have fun facts for curious minds. To enjoy more of these videos, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Most people don't volunteer to be stung in order to evaluate the pain it causes. I mean, why would you, right? That is, unless you are Justin O. Schmidt, entomologist and creator of the Schmidt Sting Pain Index. Yes, you heard it right. There is a developed pain index that helps to compare the pain of various insect stings. He has been stung by over 150 different species over his career. And if you'll ask me, I'd say that he is already an expert on which stings hurt the most. So here we go, in increasingly painful order. Starting with the easiest sting, the first insect that is worthy on our list is the sweat bee. Sweat bee is a general name given to various bees that are attracted to the salts in human perspiration. It is one of the most common bees in the world and they are found in large numbers in northern parts of the US. About 1,000 species in total. Not the bees! Ah! Many of them have metallic colored green bodies, often with red or yellow stripes, and they can only reach up to a length between 3 to 10 millimeters. A sting usually only occurs if a bee is pressed against the skin. It will continue to pump venom until you pull it out. Ouch! Obviously, the best advice is to remove it in between screams as quickly as possible. Pain is instantaneous, sharp, burning, and usually lasts a few seconds. And according to the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, a sweat bee has the least painful sting of all the stinging insects. But that does not mean that we don't need to be careful. The real problem comes after the sting. It leaves severe itching and blisters. While they are not life-threatening, like others on our list, sweat bees can live in groups, so keep your eyes open. You wouldn't want to be caught in a huge swarm of them. At number 9, Fire Ants The fire ants can be found in large numbers throughout the rainforests of Central and South America. They live in colonies and mounds, decayed wood, or under rocks. Fire ants are a very aggressive species. They will attack anything that disturbs them. Once disturbed, the fire ants will quickly climb over the invader and insert their stingers in the skin to inject venom. All right, come on, get me out of here. They will attack in groups and sting repeatedly. Sound scary? Well, you should be scared. There is strength in numbers and you don't want to disturb a group of fire ants. Schmidt judges their venom to be relatively mild. Do note, however, that Schmidt is focusing here on the sting of a single fire ant, not of an entire angry swarm. And if you're interested in the sting effect of an entire swarm, well, the group attack from fire ants can cause severe medical conditions, including sharp pain, intense itching, swelling, vomiting, rapid heart rate, difficulty in breathing and formation of white postules. So if you ever encounter a group of fire ants in the rainforest, the best thing to do is find the closest river so you can watch the bite. What else can you do if you get stung? We have a tip that will save your life coming up later in the video, so stay tuned. Bullhorn Acacia Ant at number 8 These aggressive ants are well known for their symbiotic relationship with the bullhorn acacia plant, on which they live throughout Central America. It is the unpleasant smell released from the plant that attracts the acacia ants to the plant. The acacia ants will make their home within the enlarged hollow thorns of the host plants and will be fed protein and nectar from the plant. In return for the nesting site and food, the acacia ants provide defense for the host plant. The acacia ants are very aggressive and will attack insects, plants, and even humans that come in contact with the plant. They will sting the invaders for a long time and it is painful. With a 1.8 rating on Schmidt's pain index, he describes the bullhorn's sting as a rare, piercing, elevated sort of pain, like someone has fired a stable into your cheek. Upsiders, the best thing to do is avoid the bullhorn acacia plant and its ants at any cost. You don't want to meddle with their relationship. There are many reasons to fear the insect on our number 7 spot, the bald-faced hornet. 
First things first, they are not hornets. They are given that name because of their large size, which can be the same size as a 5 cent nickel coin. The bald-faced hornet is a stinging insect that is a familiar sight to those living in the Rocky Mountains in southeastern North America. They live in colonies that contain 200 to 400 members, and they usually build large nests in vegetation and trees in forest areas. They are considered to be aggressive insects that will attack anything that invades their nesting site. These insects will sting the invaders over and over again, and with a venomous sting that causes sharp pain. You don't ever want to be near them. And if that's not enough, these bees will also spray venom to the eyes of the intruder, which may lead to temporary blindness. Talk about protecting their abode. The bald-faced hornet sting can result in pain, inflammation, redness, intense itching, and burning sensation. The sting can throb for almost five minutes before subsiding. Our genius Smith compared it to getting your hand mashed in a revolving door. Ouch! Yellow Jacket at number 6 They are named after the distinctive yellow and black markings. This flesh-eating wasp preys on moths, cockroaches, spiders, and even other yellow jackets. They've also been known to feed on flesh from the open wounds of horses. Calm down. Calm down. They live worldwide in huge colonies in large paper nests built in trees, dense bushes, or even under your porch. The yellow jackets are a very aggressive type of wasp. If feeling threatened, they will attack together as a group and will sting repeatedly. They bite to get a better grip for driving the stinger in, and the intense burning of their venom lasts for two minutes before beginning to diminish leaving behind an inflamed red wound. The group attack can result in intense pain and severe health conditions, including difficulty in breathing, swelling, tightness in chest, slurred speech, weakness, and fainting. Number 5 on our list, Honeybees While you may think the honeybee is cute because it makes you honey, many people are deathly afraid of it because of the severe reactions they have experienced. The ubiquitous honeymaker is found on every continent except Antarctica. Trivia time, upsiders! Did you know that in 1989, NASA sent honeybees into space as part of a student experimental program to investigate if honeybees could fly and what kind of comb they would build in microgravity environments? If you know the outcome of this experiment, leave it in in the comments down below for everyone to marvel at. Anyways. These bees will sting when disturbed. Did you know that a honeybee can sting only once since it loses its stinger in the process? In fact, the stinger of a honeybee is attached to its digestive tract and nerves. So when the bee tries to pull out its stinger from the skin of its victim, it will also lose its digestive tract and nerves and will die. Now this is where it gets really interesting. Even after the death of the honeybee, the muscular valve continues to pump toxins into the wound, leading to severe health conditions, vomiting, redness, swelling, nausea, diarrhea, and dizziness are the most common symptoms caused by a honeybee sting. Normally, an average adult human could survive hundreds of honeybee stings, but the multiple stings from honeybees can cause death to people with poor heart conditions or severe allergies. At number 4, Red Harvester Ant After 8 unrelenting hours of drilling into that ingrown toenail, you find the drill is wedged in the toe. With a description like that from Schmidt, you think surely it doesn't get much worse, but you're badly mistaken. This is only number 4 on the list. You won't likely encounter one of these large red harvester ants unless you live in southwest of the US, and that's probably for the better. These insects are reluctant to sting, but when they do, it may be cause for medical concern. Red harvester ant nests are often located in open areas and resemble a flat circular patch in the soil. They live in colonies underground and will attack any animals if they feel threatened. The red harvester ants will bite the intruders viciously. Stings are more painful and last longer than most ant stings, usually for hours, with swelling and a watery, sticky secretion oozing from the wound. They are also poisonous and they inject potent venom into the body of the intruder and it can be very painful. The venom of red harvest ants can cause severe pain, numbness, intense itching, weakness, and swelling. 
Legend holds that Mexican outlaws and American Indians were known to torture and kill their enemies by staking them to harvester ant nests. Third on our list, paper wasps. Paper wasps are another common species encountered by humans in the southern United States, especially during the summer months. Hey, do, uh, do wasps make honey? No, wasps do not make honey. All right, well, I'm gonna check it out anyway. There could be something delicious in here that wasps do make. These territorial pests, gray honeycomb-like nests, can pop up under eaves or around porch areas. These highly social wasps build papery nests of plant fibers and prey largely on caterpillars. When alarmed, a single red paper wasp can release venom into its nest, which alerts and rallies others of its kind to attack. With this kind of behavior, the presence of paper wasp nests in human habitants can be very dangerous. The result could be worse than you expect. The paper wasp's sting is extremely painful and it can sting multiple times. Intense pain, itching, swelling. Allergic reactions and redness are the common symptoms found after stung by paper wasps. Luckily, the pain of their sting can begin to fade after 15 minutes. As described by Schmidt, caustic and burning, distinctly bitter aftertaste, like spilling a beaker of hydrochloric acid on a paper cut. Tarantula hawk is worthy to be the second most painful insect sting in the world. From the name, you might be picturing a bird of prey, but a tarantula hawk is actually an insect, a wasp. And if you guessed they eat tarantulas, you'd be right. Well, at least partly right. Tough enough to attack, paralyze, and drag a hairy, poisonous tarantula up to eight times its weight. The two-inch-long tarantula hawk rarely stings without provocation. That's good. Rated at the top of the scale, Smith called it blinding, fierce, shockingly electric. Like a running hair dryer has been dropped into your bubble bath and a bolt out of the heavens. Even though the pain only lasts three minutes, it's so fiercely electric that it could only be described as totally intolerable and will leave you a story of suffering that you'd be telling your grandkids. Good thing Mr. Schmidt gave us a useful piece of advice on what you do when one gets stung by a tarantula hawk. Just lie down and start screaming! On a serious note, you'd need to get immediate medical attention. Here's an insider's upside hint. We always have activated charcoal on hand for stings and bites. Add a bit of water to make a paste and cover the stink for 30 minutes. Wash and repeat. The charcoal pulls the toxins from the affected area. Do it fast before they circulate through the bloodstream. And last but definitely not the least, we have the most painful sting of all. The bullet ant sting. Okay, who's next? Panera Clavata. I know. Bullet ants, right? Number one on the Schmidt pain index. The bullet ant sting is the worst pain known to humans. The pain of its sting is compared to being hit by a bullet. These ants are also top among the largest ants in the world, and they can reach up to a maximum length of 1.2 inches. The bullet ants are found mainly in rainforests of Nicaragua and Paraguay. Like others on this list, bullet ants are not instinctively aggressive but become so when needed as a defense mechanism. Their sting releases a toxin that causes severe muscle contractions, a burning sensation, and great pain. Worse, it can result in shaking and temporary paralysis of the limbs. Unlike honeybees, the deadly bullet ants will sting again and again. While the stings cause relatively little damage at the wound site, the torment is searing excruciating and can come and go for 24 hours. Schmidt describes the pain as pure, intense, brilliant pain, like walking over flaming charcoal with a 3-inch nail embedded in your heel, and rates it as beyond 4.0, literally off the charts. Just be glad that you're not a part of the Satyr Mount tribe of the Amazon rainforest. As a part of their transition to manhood, they require boys of the tribe to stick their hands into gloves filled with angry bullet ants for 10 minutes. They repeat the ritual until the boy can endure the stinging and ensuing pain and paralysis without shedding a tear. Now that is mental toughness. Of all these insects with painful stings, which really scared you the most? Share us your thoughts by leaving a comment down below. And for all you upsiders who want more upside videos, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. If you find this video really shocking, I know you'll be interested in watching our video of unbelievable animals that saved people's lives. See you next time.